Dr. Sturgis, this is Sheldon. You're wrong and I can prove it. Is that so? It is so. All right, little man, bring it on. Go ahead, Sheldon. I'm all ears. Well, when I'm done, you're going to be all tears. OK, fellas, let's keep it civil. You claim that the only way to calculate the magnetic field in QCD units is using Maxwell's equations. But you're completely discrediting energy density. But you're still off. By a factor of 3.54, which would seem insignificant, but when examined closely, you realize that it's the square root of 4 times pi. Your point being? Rationalized and non-rationalized units differ by 4 times pi. Anyone with a basic knowledge of electric and magnetic fields would know that. I'm lost. Are we still being civil? It's all right, Connie. Sheldon's trying to justify his shortcut. Not a shortcut. A more elegant and efficient method to achieve the correct answer. Well, I applaud the effort, young man. Don't treat me like a child. Treat me like a colleague. Fine. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. How could you say that? <laughs> Welcome. Come in, come in. You like chalkboards, huh? Indeed I do. In fact, I even have one in the bathroom. You never know when inspiration will strike. I may be the luckiest boy in East Texas. I know it's Thursday, so dinner will be spaghetti and hot dogs. And for fun, I have a few episodes of Cosmos recorded. Forget maybe. I am the luckiest boy. Watching Cosmos while we're eating dinner? Am I awake because this feels like a dream? Oh, not for me. In my dreams, I'm usually running for my life from a giant praying mantis. That's the insect where the female eats the male after mating? It is. I think I understand why you're not married. Do you believe there's intelligent life in the universe? I have no doubt. Why is that? The Drake Equation claims that there are at least 20 detectable civilizations in our Milky Way galaxy alone. Interesting. My sister likes to say that I'm an alien. I've often been called that. Once by the praying mantis in my dream. Maybe we are aliens. Perhaps. Or maybe people like you and me were the original inhabitants of Earth and everyone else is from outer space. Ooh, I like that better. In the great dark between the stars, there also are... After dinner, want to toast marshmallows on a Bunsen burner? Good gosh, yes. I think you tripped and hit your head. I'm a bit woozy. I better test for concussion. What's your name? John Burgess Sturgis. Burgess Sturgis, great name. Thank you. Who is the president of the United States? George Herbert Walker Bush. I like Burgess Sturgis better. Because it rhymes, sure. Last question. What is the only fermion that may not have an antiparticle? The neutrino, of course. I'm going to rule out concussion. To be fair, it was an easy question. True. Wait here. I'm going to go get some ice for your head and I'll fix you a hot beverage. Oh, there's a there's an Earl Grey tea bag in the sink. I think it still has some oomph in it. Here's a pineapple. It's a symbol of hospitality dating back to the 1700s. Thank you. How tropical. Dr. Sturgis, hello. Hi. Ooh, did you know the pineapple is a symbol of hospitality? As a matter of fact, I did. You're welcome. Hey, John, what do you say you and I go grab a beer? But we haven't cut open the pineapple yet. You boys go ahead. We'll eat the pineapple another time. But we haven't had a chance to talk about science. Ooh, can Sheldon come? Can I? No. Aw. Hello? I'm having a scientific argument with someone, and I need your help. I do love a good science fight. Has it devolved to name-calling yet? Yes. I called him a Pongo Pygmius. Ho oh, ho! A Bornean orangutan. That is a creature who would be very bad at science. Well done. I know. So how can I help? 
I posted a theory on the collapse of wave function. We've been arguing back and forth, and he's saying that my probabilities come out negative. Mm, I see. Have you considered that negative probabilities can still have meaning? Ooh, I hadn't. That suggests another idea. I can argue that negative probabilities only show up in intermediate steps. I'm gonna destroy him with this. And when you do, feel free to call him a scarabaeus vietii, a dung beetle. Oh, I so admire your mind. Back at you, little man.